Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster! We will be making a bet box today because we desperately need one. But first we have to do a few other things because they're not made like normally. They're made... we have to make some wire cutters and a hammer first, which involves... Okay, so yeah, this, um, in the new update version, the 1.1.0, if you put a crafting station next to a chest, it will take out from the chest, which is really awesome, because you don't want to hold everything and stick stuff back in there. Okay, hammer. You need to make this, which is plastic. Ooh. Um... We need to take some rubber. Do we? We don't have any rubber. This uh, I guess this means we should go find some rubber. Um, I'll plant some rubber trees for now and collect that rubber. Ooh, chicken. What are you doing, chicken? Meat. Let's plant these. Yeah, lots of words. Okay, because this will give us some rubber. And then... Okay. Let's collect these saplings. We stick them around the time tree. They should grow faster, but we might as well stick some over here as well. There we go. And I'm going to pause while I find some more rubber. Because we need a lot of it. I think. Actually, we might have enough. Let's see, this is the electric furnace, so we stick that in there. Some coal in here. That's not what I meant. Oh, I meant to put the generator over there. Oh well. We'll fix that later when we get a wrench. Oh, this is quite fast. Better than what I'm normally used to. Um, let's see. What else can we do while we wait? We can set up our Tinker's Construct. I'm missing a table, but that is fine. I'm probably going to move this Tinker's up to the basement floor after I make a basement floor. But for now, we'll just stick them here. Part builder, crafting station, dental station. We don't have a tool station. Okay. We do have books. So first off, oops, I need to do this and that. Make a stencil. Stencil on a book. No, stencil on a piece of paper, not a book. And I will pause while this stuff cooks, and then we'll be back. Okay. So we have our plastic. It's just you cook the rubber, the raw rubber into rubber, uh, rubber bar. Or if you're using the other kind of rubber trees, you just make them into the black rubber. And that's a creeper. And you make plastic sheets. And then I also need sticks. So I think it's like this. And we have a hammer. Now with this hammer, we need to make some wire cutters which is the iron plates smashed down so I think this is how it works or if not 
Oh, I need to make a forge hammer. Not a precision sledgehammer. Okay. There we go. One, two, three. I thought it looked weird. And then with that, you do this. And then, there we go. Wire cutter. Now we can get started on the bat box. Bat. Oops. Bat box. We are going to need some more rubber. So, we'll go ahead and stick this in here. Wait, no. That in there. Also stick some more coal in there. We do need a lot more rubber though. And this tree decided to grow for us. I think the time tree is helping the trees out a lot. Now if I make ext extract uh lag every time I cut down a tree there's a lag spike when the leaves disappear. Okay. Okay, that should be enough rubber for what we're doing. Later we'll take, we'll make an extractor so we can get more rubber from the, um... Okay, those are flowers. I was like, what? Okay. Bat box. We need to make insulated tin cables, which tin cables... Oops, wrong button. Which is a tin plate. I think. I think I can do it this way. Sledgehammer, give me your power. Yes. Uh, three. No. Let's do one and see if we can do that. Yes. Okay, we actually need one more. There we go. And then take the rubber. And to make the batteries, it's tin ca item casting, which is, we'll do one, two. We have to hammer it twice. Yes. But we need, uh, how many batteries do we need? A lot. One, two, okay. That should give us enough for three batteries. It's done. One, two, three. Uh, cables, one, two, three. Three bat box, three batteries. Now we need wood, which we have. And we go like this. I did not, uh, I'm not doing this right. There we go. I'm failing horribly. We have a bat box. That macerator's in the wrong spot. Because the bat box was going to go there. So, I'm going to... I don't know. Did I come with a wrench? No. Let's see. I'll figure out how to make a wrench. Okay, and so in here it's actually pretty easy to make a wrench. I don't have to make any dust or anything. I just do this. And I fail at that too. <laughs> okay, there we go. One, two, three. That gives us bronze. We only need this much. And we have a wrench. There we go. Boop. And then we're sticking the bat box here. Um, the output, I believe. There we go. So we can stick the generator. Yeah, that's working. Generator there. That is a generator. Okay, good. And the macerator here. We'll stick the coal back in here. It's not all of it, just some of it. 
I'm going to need a lot more power than that. There we go. Okay, so we have a bat box, and it's charging the bat box, which will... Electric furnace is done. We can start sticking stuff in the macerator, like this coal. Or not, that's not even coal, that's copper. Um, yeah, that's copper, not coal. Okay. What I was gonna do? I was gonna take the sugar cane. What? Sugar cane seeds? That. We'll just make some of those. Um. This is a DNA analyzer that um, Math is working on. I don't really know what that does, so we'll let him play with that. Crushed copper ore. And we put these over here. We got the drying racks up, which are really easy to make. You make um, half wooden half slabs, like normally, um, and then you do the same thing like twice. Put the half slabs where you would in three in a row and it makes drying racks and then you can stick your raw beef on it raw meat and you raw meat really and it and mon and zombie flesh actually and it'll dry it and make it edible that way you don't have to use coal to make it macerator's done put that in the electric furnace okay let's see how to make an extractor extract um, everything looks different, so... I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, basic machine, which is iron, smashed. Okay, hammer, where, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic machine casing. Um, electric circuit. We also need. I'll stick the rubber in, rubber in here. What do we need? Wood. Yes, we need to make four tree taps. Then stick that there, that there, and we have an extractor. We will pop that there. So that means we have this rubber wood. Stick the rubber wood in there, and it'll extract it for us and make more rubber, which is handy because otherwise you just you can use that wood to make planks and whatnot, which is kind of boring. Let's see. Rubber. Yeah, so we have our generator, which is giving out, it's just storing power, but it's giving it out as well. Extractor, electric furnace, and a macerator. It's currently nighttime, so the sun's going down. Um, I'm going to build a second floor up here. Ooh, one of the bamboo trees grew. To the bamboo, bamboo yeah. two of the bamboo trees grew. There we go. I'll be also adding the basements where we will do be doing Tinker's construct. I will get all the stuff I need to make a smelt tree, which is clay. Is all I'm really missing: clay and sand. And there should be a ton of clay over here in the river. And sand should be there too. So we'll cl I'll collect that off camera. And then we'll make some grout and then smeltery bricks. Let's see. What is this doing? I don't know. Um, the reason why there's these two different coppers, one is the um, this stuff, but if you use a pulverizer, which is Buildcraft, I think, yeah, maybe, I don't know, um, it'll make it shiny.
but um, I prefer using these now. I used to use only the pulverizers in MJ powered stuff, but I've been liking the EU better now. Oh, there's my food. I was wondering where I put the food. We also got some aluminum, which um, you can make uh, ingots. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you do with it. You can turn it into clay. 20%. That's odd. Um, I think... Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, so I crashed and it closed out on me. And I'll just end the video here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Join me next time and we'll build some cool stuff. Goodbye!